God if you close your eyes Hi guys, Steve here and we are back in the world of X-Plane 11. So today is slightly different compared to what we would normally be doing. We're not doing a full flight. I've been on the uh, xplane.org forum and a fellow part of their Mac 22 is having some difficulty with the JIR 320. He's not getting the call out, the V-speed call outs during that uh, takeoff roll. So I've said that I'll do um, a flight. Not to pile up, we get that out there straight away from the start. But it does work for me, so I'm happy to sort of show what I do, how I do it. And we'll take off um, off 26 at Innsbruck as well. And hopefully that will help uh, Mac 22 try and see whatever it is not doing or not doing the same. Again, not saying that my way is the right way, it seems to work. So hopefully it'll help, and um, hopefully we can get. Uh, another satisfied person with this plane. Now we're using XNviro for all of the environmental stuff. The latest JAR320 and X-Plane 11 is up to date, excluding current beta versions. Um, Ortho XP has been run over the Innsbruck region for me as well, so it should look a little better than it would do normally running out of the box. So we jump into the flight deck. The ground power is already connected. So we'll remove the engine covers and we can now go up we'll get the batteries on and we can also now get the um, ground power unit connected so sort of heating and the lighting for the overhead up no smoking and emergency lighting is um, on and on Adir's is in a line mode now and we should have about yeah, seven minutes left for that to arm. The fuel pumps stay off, we haven't loaded the required fuel on yet. The nav light goes on as we're now of course in the flight deck and uh, we have power. This is a little lighting for the uh, pedestal. You can see the current uh, air rack information being displayed there. That's up to date as of now. So we'll go into the init page, init A. So flying today from Innsbruck, so it's Lima, Oscar, Whiskey, India, to Salzburg, which is Lima, Oscar, Whiskey, Sierra. Not quite right, we'll try that again. That's better, that's taking it this time. Don't need to put a flight number in, however, I will put easy one, two, three, four. As I know that the cost index they use is 12, and we'll fly at 17,000 or flight level 170. Now, second edit page zero fuel weights and block fuel uh, are the main things we want to be focusing on here, We're waiting for the fuel panel to appear. I have been told that this journey should be around 4,000 kilograms of fuel. I like to round that up. So I'm probably going to end up using about 4.5. Um, we'll just get that cargo down a little tiny bit, about 2.5 tonnes. So that gives us zero as the uh, trim for the horizontal stabiliser. So we can set the zero fuel weight now and let's put that 4.5 tonnes of fuel in. So we'll see what that final prediction figure is by the time we've got the plan fully loaded in. So looking at the weather we'll take a 2.6 departure and this morning. That'll be a Rattenberg 3 X-ray departure. We can clear that uh, discontinuity out because basically there's a um, slight right turn um, till we get to WI 007, then we do a 180 and come straight back overhead the uh, airfield 
and then continue on our way to uh, Rattenburg. So once we get as far as Rattenburg itself, we need to manually uh, put a direct to uh, waypoint in. That waypoint is Unken. And from Unken we can actually then just program the uh, arrival straighting with the transition at Unken. It's only one runway showing so we'll take the ILS for 1.5 and that will be the uh, Unken 1 Romeo fire Sierra Bravo Golf. So we'll see now we've gone down to about two tons. So we do can clear that uh, first Sierra Bravo Golf. We don't need it in there twice. That looks to be uh, pretty well okay. For some reason I don't know why it does that. Every now and then it will change the uh, the flight level. So we'll just put that back to the 170 again. We know we'll be taking the flaps to departure and we know the trim is zero. So we can set that. Flex temperature, I'm sure there's going to be something somewhere you can pick up online or on, on the org as a, as a plug-in that will tell you what flex temperature to use and how to calculate it. I don't bother personally, I'll just go with uh, a fig between 50 and 60. Then click on all the V1, VR and the V2 speeds. Also then you can click on the um, throttle reduction and acceleration and also the engine out acceleration so we pick up uh, the new altitude. Now I don't know if that is barometric or elevation from the airfield that dictates that change but it does it for you automatically as you can see. And we can see now we've got 2.4 tonnes, that's spot on, I have no problem landing with that level of fuel. Um, so we can go straight up to 17,000 and the Q&H is 1017, we'll leave the heading and speed in managed so that is all set, we'll have a quick look at the uh, in plan mode at that departure so we're taking off on 2.6 so it's a westerly departure then it's a west northwesterly turn over the uh, first waypoint Whisky, Whisky India 006 marginally left toward westerly toward 007 and then it'll be a right hand 180 if we should get, keep that tight enough we'll overfly 006 again and then continue on our way over through to Rattenburg So that looks all okay. So I'll go back to the uh, first page. And I'm back into arc mode, ready for the flight itself. And so we've got one minute left for the uh, IRS to complete the alignment. So we'll start the APU. The beacon is already on. Seat belts can now go on as well. No ATC, we're fully offline. Just me and my little Airbus. So we're done with the load and the fuel panel. We can get rid of them for now as well. Doors are all closed. I was already aboard. Just waiting for the. Uh, there we go. MP is available. So ground power comes off. And we are now ready to do the before start checklist. A quick scan, I think it looks to be okay. Seat belts are on, APU is on, all the lighting is sorted, fuel goes to auto, and the uh, that is, is in nav mode. Throttle is uh, retarded, spoilers and uh, flaps are retracted. Before start checklist, cockpit preparation completed, gear pins and covers removed. 
Signs, on, adheres, nav mode, fuel quantity, in kilo, 04498. Takeoff data, set, barrow reference, set, windows, doors, closed, beacon, on, throttle levers, idle, parking brake, on, checklist completed. Okay, so that's the uh, the first of the checklists out of the way for us now. You see the box has gone green. As soon as you see a green box around that uh, checklist, that basically means it's going to complete okay. Uh, if it says blue, it's either got a problem or uh, some of the checklists have got below and above the line. It could be that. So we call the tow. Um, pushback is interesting in uh, in this plane. There's two ways really of doing it. One is to just look out the window and guess, or you can just look from the outside of the plane and uh, probably give yourself a better chance of putting it where you want it to go. We'll have a go from the outside of the plane today, so see how close my judgment actually is as to when to uh, start that nose turning. So start setting the plane round to the right. We're a little bit early, I think, there. So we'll just strike that for a few more seconds. And then uh, take it around. Hopefully pick up onto that centre line. I don't think I'm too far away. I might just be a little bit to the side. Yeah, just a little bit to the right, but I'm happy Park enough with that. It's near enough for me. So now we'll push back and we're ready. Put the APU bleed on the course for the engine start. Everything else is ready to go. So ignition to start and starting number two. Starting engine two. Set the transponder to auto and TA and RA. So we see N2 spooling up. A little rise on the EGT. Start to see uh, N1 kick in. There we go. That's now gradually going to start to increase the uh, spin percentage. Fuel flow is also now increasing as well, so it looks to be a good start. And there you go, the uh, bus has just kicked in from the engine generator. So we can go ahead and now start number one. Starting engine one. Again, looking for N2 to start. EGT will increase. And we should see N1 begin to kick in right now. There we go. So N1 is now increasing. Fuel flow is increasing. EGT is also rising rapidly. And again. Engine 2 bus has kicked in. So ignition goes back to normal. At the moment we'll leave the APU bleed on and the packs off. That will become evident in a few seconds as to why we're doing it that way. We'll do the after start checklist. After start checklist. Anti-ice as required. Ecam status checked. Pitch trim zero decimal zero down. Rudder trim zero. APU set on. Ground crew clear. Anti-skid and nose wheel steering on. Checklist completed. Okay, so that's all done. So we'll do the uh, flight control procedures in a moment as well. Now we've done the after start checklist. You have got a choice regarding your packs. If you want the packs on, the APU bleed has to stay on. Me I'll turn the APU off, leave the packs off for now, and then once we get to about a thousand feet above ground level, I will then turn the packs on and allow the engine bleed to uh, to run the packs for me. Flight control check. Full up. Check. Full down. Check. Neutral. Check. Full left. Check. Full right. Check. Neutral. Check. Press pedals disconnect push button. Check. Pedal full left. Check. Pedal full right. Check. Neutral. Check. Press pedals disconnect push button. Check. Checklist completed. Okay. So again, box goes green, so that's completed OK now. So we've got a few actions now we need to look at on the uh, upper E cam. So we can see there. We'll set the takeoff uh, auto brake to max. Arm. 
We flaps also need to um, flaps borders two. set the flaps to two. So we've now got a normal uh, takeoff config confirmed. And now put the uh, taxi light on and uh, release the brakes Park so we can make a way to hold short on the uh, of the runway. Okay, so what is uh, carrying on with her briefing, we can crack on now and do the before takeoff checklist down to the line. The final few checks before we do that, everything looks to be uh, set. Packs will stay off of course, there's no APU or APU bleed. Transponder is set, the radios are set. I think we are good to go for the checklist. Before takeoff checklist, flight controls, check, flight instruments, check, briefing, confirm, flap settings config, flaps 2, V1, 1, 2, 6, V rotate, 1, 3, 1, V2, 1, 4, 6, flex temperature, 5, 5, ATC, set, ECAM memo, no blue, checklist down to the line completed. If you are ready to continue below the line, click it again. Okay, so we can see that that checklist has stayed blue because we have got the before takeoff checklist below the line to complete in a few minutes. You can do it now, um, potentially when you're holding shorts. Um, that wouldn't be an issue. Me, I normally tend to try and get lined up, and then I'll do that Park immediately off. before we actually take off. So we'll get the brakes off and get going. We'll just take a right turn here onto uh, the runway. We'll backtrack and we'll uh, do that final part of the checklist as we get ready to turn. So again, as we enter the runway, the uh, Approaching landing light two, strobes six. come on. The taxi light will go off. I don't know if we actually need to turn the taxi lights off at that point or not. I know. Uh, on runway, I zero, think I have seen videos eight, where they nine, stay on and then, as soon as you take it off, remaining. you uh, retract the gear and take the taxi lights off at that point. I'm not certain if it's required then or not, but uh, that's how I do it. So you can see the little area on the right hand side where we're going to uh, go over to the right, do our turn to line up. Really Cabin crew now. advised. Engine mode selector. Set normal as wear required. Packs set off. 
course of APU bleed. Checklist below the line completed. Anywhere around that area, basically, once you start your turn, you can do it. So you can do it while you're holding short if you really want to. It's not, I don't think, the end of the world. We'll just finish turning up now then to uh, line up. Roughly on runway two six set. Okay, we're good to go. So we'll start the clock and take off. Power set. It does like to roll around a bit this plane. It's been very much alive. There you go guys, there's the uh, call that I was looking for. Up. Gear up. And so we'll, we'll turn to the right you can see on the navigation display. Come on, we'll get a thousand of ground level packs can go on. And that's uh, pretty well the lot guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Any comments, any questions, uh, feel free to leave them on YouTube. I'll put the link to the uh, forum posting as well. And until the next time, my name is Steve. I'll see you all very, very soon.